Welcome to Show Your Talent International. Uh, just to remind you again, this is an international broadcast, and this is for international artists and for their promotion, purely for promotion of all the artists, as your singer, you're a, a mu music maker, you're a musician, you're a dancer, film artist. Of course, we will come back to it as well, because today we got someone very, very special, quite a high level of talent, uh, a very experienced, multi-talented artist sitting with us as well. And we, we have decided to dedicate all the time to him, because he will be able to explain all his talents, uh, multiple talents, and he'll be able to give you better advices. A lot many people, they call me as well and say, you know, can you please guide us? No, I think we are, don't have the experience. We are here to promote you internationally. No matter where you're from, this is a show for you. So before we waste any time, I'm pretty sure that, you know, um, most of my friends who know that uh, this very senior artist, British movie actor, who is present with us in the studio, the, they want to start chatting with him as soon as possible. <laughs> so how are you, Mr. Lemon Thamba? I'm fine, thank you, Yaldram. I'm happy to be here with Show Your Talent. Uh, we are so proud of you and we are so thankful to you that, you know, you've taken time out from your busy life and all these shootings going on. And uh, you, you're here to actually share a few things with us and our audience. <laughs> I, it's, it's a pleasure. Um, that's what I do. I'm happy to be part of this program today. Um, hopefully, um, the interview or the chat that we have will help inspire some people and open doors for many, many, many people that want to get into the performance industry True. to become artists. Mm -hmm. so. And on the other hand, like uh, the objective of this show is actually to get you introduced in some other parts of the world as well. This is an international broadcast, yeah. uh, and I'm pretty sure it's uh, many people they're watching from America and yeah. from India. So it's Hollywood and Bollywood. Yeah. And a uh, few things we have seen in past that people have shared so many resources. Yeah. And we are so thankful that you came here as well. And uh, I also heard that, uh, of course, you are a British actor. Yes. But you are uh, you have done some work with the Bollywood industry as well. I have, yes. Um, okay. I have been acting for about two and a half years. It feels like I've been acting for 10 years, um, mainly British films. But recently, I've had a lot of offers from Bollywood, and I'm currently shooting in a Bollywood film called A Thousand Dreams, and I play an Interpol officer. Um, it's a lot romantic story gone wrong, mm -hmm. resulting into crime and international crime, and we're trying to unplug the mystery, mm -hmm. find out what happened. I've also been cast another one in a Bollywood film called Mad About You. I'll be playing a hard character in that, a mobster, but really bad um, character. Um, I've also led in a couple of, fe actually not a couple of feature films, quite a few feature films. Spiritual Contact is one of them. Um, God Tech is one that's filming. The Beautiful Truth is filming. And I've been in a lot of short films. Another April movie I saw as well that was brilliant. Were you, you are the one on oh, that? Oh, yes, so, yes. So um, <laughs> I saw the April trailer and it's mm. so amazing. Yep. I'm so impressed. Um, this is a director that I've worked with before who's directed April. Mm -hmm. April is a short film which is very, very highly emotional. Mm -hmm. It's where someone has got hope of their life coming together only to discover that they have this terminal illness. Mm -hmm. um, I worked with Emerson on Spiritual Contact which went to cinemas in January. Mm -hmm. And he's a brilliant director to work with. Oh, Emerson, yeah. he's, uh, we know he was here with us last week, and yeah. we must say he is very, very professional. And we are thankful to him as well that, yeah. you know, that uh, for introducing uh, many of his uh, artists as well. Yes. Uh, he's really good. I've seen some of the trailers as you mentioned, yeah. and that's why I picked you up. Oh, you are the one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Um, yeah, it's, it's fun. Working with him is so relaxed. He's very professional. He. Um, knows what he wants, and he wants his artists to perform to their best level. If you don't, he assists you along the way. And it doesn't feel like that actor and director relation. It's more like friends working together. He gives you that confidence, mm -hmm. and he brings out the best in you, and that's what I like. I've worked with quite, I've been a very lucky guy to work with lots and lots of directors, and um, I believe it can only get better, because I'm not restricted to films in Britain alone. Um, I would love to go international. I've just started looking into Bollywood films. Nice. And yes, wherever my performance takes me, I'm happy to go. 
as long as the job is good, the storyline is brilliant, the production crew is professional, I'm ready to go. Well, that is actually a sign of a true artist that, you know, they are willing to perform anywhere regardless. Yeah. And um, uh, I was looking at your profile. Yeah. It's amazing profile. You've got so many British movies. Uh, you got, uh, have been working in theatres. Yeah. Uh, you've been working as professional model as well. Yes. How do you manage all these talents? I mean, it's quite amazing. Like, you know, all these things are specialized areas. Yeah. So how do you manage all of this together? Well, um, it's part of being multi-talented. It's about discovering yourself, discovering what is strong about you as an individual, where you can perform, where you can perform at, at your best level. I've done modeling based on photographers' recommendation. People that I've worked with and they saw me on set while filming say, oh yeah, he's got um, that look or he's got that personality. We might want him for that modeling job or for stills photography or for theater, we've got that role that he's suited to. And then they invite me to the audition, and then I'll do audition, and they say to me, oh wow, that is brilliant. Um, we are go going to cast you for that particular role. So I've done about four theater plays. I'm in two now, one of them is showcasing this Sunday. It has sold out, and it's got people on the waiting list. Nice. So there might be a repeat performance there's one that is performing in June, um, which I'm part of as well, and I'm doing the rehearsals. If you're a performer, you cannot sleep. Well, you have to sleep, because if you don't, it shows on you. But you have to be on your toes all the time. You have to be working, you have to be practicing, practicing, practicing. When you're not shooting, make sure you maintain the rhythm. Momentum is very, very important in an, in an actor or a performance. Um, career. Without it, you find yourself rusty, and then a role might come in when you're not sharp, and you need to be ready for that role anytime. Interesting. Yeah. Um, about uh, the talents you have, uh, uh, you have modeling talent, yeah. you have the theater yeah. performance talent, you yeah. are a proper film actor. Film actor. Yeah. Which one do you think uh, needs uh, natural gifts? Or is it all polishing? Or is it a mix of both? Um, I, I'm still trying to find out okay. what I'm good at, very good at. Um, most of the jobs that I do, people say to me, wow, that is brilliant. He's a brilliant actor or is a brilliant model. Wow, look at the photos that we've done. Um, and then I've done commercials that have been lead, about four, five, or six commercials that have been lead and I've been in walk-on roles before, and I've done magazine shoots, and people, wow, that is fantastic, that's amazing. But I think um, what works out for me is being ready for that challenge. Um, once I get into my um, role, that's not much I want. The only thing I want is to perform at my best. I'm ready any minute. That's a good thing, and I'm easy to work with. I'm a very good team, team player, and normally I go beyond where I'm supposed to stop, unless, of course, the director or the photographer or um, the producer says, oh, no, um, do it that way, or stop, or do it that way. Oh, that is fantastic. We don't need more of that. That's me. I'm flexible. So what do you think is the most important thing, most of the people, like uh, your message, I would say, yeah. for the uh, new uh, people, uh, new models, yeah. new artists, which things they should keep in their mind, as per your experience? Because I know yeah. you, you, you got a lot, a lot of experience, yeah. uh, proven experience, I would say. Yeah. So what people, performance, this is what I always say to colleagues and um, friends, family that want to get into the industry, become artists. One, the most important thing is confidence. You have to be confident in yourself. You have to be confident when you sit in front of people or in front of camera. And you have to be able to communicate with these people before you even talk. So your normal, your personality comes across before you even start talking to people. And when you start talking to people, they see what you don't see about yourself. So go and be yourself, but remember, you have to be in somewhere as a professional. It's very, very important you show, you show up at events, auditions, or filming as a professional. The rest will take care of itself. So confidence is key. Mm -hmm. Do not listen to myths. Don't believe 
things that people say you can't do. Just go in there believing 100% that, yes, I'll, I'll be able to do this. I'll be able to do this. If you cannot convince yourself, forget it. You cannot convince the other person because um, it comes across very, very easily and quickly if you're not convincing. So you have to say to yourself, I'm good. I can do this. I'm in my best shape mentally and physically to play that role. And then you go and convince people. Okay. If you cannot convince yourself, stay in your house. That's very interesting. So uh, um, it's a kind of uh, understanding which I picked up yeah. that self-confidence is the key. It's key. Okay. It's very, very key. If you're not self-confident, why would other people trust you with their, with their job? Most of these films cost a lot mm. to produce. Or photography, they hire equipment. Even if they own it, their own time. You have to be able to convince people that you're the right man for the job. If you cannot do that, what's the point? To They're not going to trust you. Um, you have to say to them, yeah, I'm the man. And this is what I can do. And when you go to auditions or castings, show them what you can do. If there's more you can do than that they're looking for, show them that you go an extra mile in you. That's what it is. Okay, then. Yeah. That's very interesting. And uh, what you mentioned is very, very useful, I would say, yeah. uh, for all the audience watching us. I know the people are watching us from all over the world at the moment. It's an international broadcast. Yeah. And the people who are asking about these questions, I think he has answered Oh, most of it, the questions have been asked and uh, your emails and texts have been coming in. Yeah. So this is a, a kind of proper answer. First time I think I've heard in front of me. I yeah. have no experience like you have. <laughs> Thank you. So it's very good. Like uh, I know a lot of people, they will be benefited because of that. Yeah. They, it, it gives me a feeling as well that it's, it's all to do with your hard work. Yes. Hard work is important, like I said to you. It's practice, practice, practice. You know that cliche or adage, old one, that practice makes perfect. It really does. Um, if you're not prepared, it shows very quickly. And if you go into a job, looking for a job, and you're not prepared, and then they discover from the very first few minutes that you're not prepared, they're probably not going to listen to the rest of the stuff you have. So having a good start, I say, hmm, okay, that's an interesting character. Oh, okay, and then they listen. Even if they were nodding off, they were like, they will wake up and they will listen to you. So really and truly, you have to put work in. The amount of work you do never lies. Eventually, if you're not getting, if you're getting frustrated, you're putting in shift after shift after shift, and you're not getting anything, you've not been to the right places yet. It will pay off. Patience, as an actor, model, you get more no's, rejections than um, selections. So during that period where you're getting no, 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 keeping faith, being patient, and carrying on, carrying on working while you're getting lots of no's is very important because it's that no's that you get between roles that sometimes pushes people out of the industry. All oh, right, okay, I'm disillusioned with this industry. It doesn't work. It doesn't do that. No, you cannot win everything. It's not possible. You know, um, when I did the course in. LA in Hollywood, I was told even A-listers get turned down for roles. So as an up and coming actor, although I've done a lot, what, what is it that would affect me if somebody says no? In fact, I turned that no into a positive. That, okay, I've been turned down. What did I do wrong today that I don't want to repeat tomorrow? So I start working on, okay, I think I stuttered at the beginning. Or maybe I was not very clear. There wasn't clarity when I was doing this. So tomorrow, I'm going to slow down. I'm going to open my mouth. I'm going to talk properly. I'm going to audition properly. Oh, I need to work on my eye movements. Or I need to work on my voice. So it's constant, constant, constant. And many films are different. And I don't play the same character. I played so many different characters. It's one thing you do for this one will not work for the other one. You have to change into that character. So just because today you've gone and effed and blind and swore and did everything, tomorrow the next film might want you to be subtle, gentle, very romantic, calm. You know, you have to have that calming influence. You suddenly have to change. So the life of an actor, if you really want to be good, you don't want to be one thing. If you cast for one thing over and over, fine. 
if that's what you want to do. But with me, I would rather be versatile and work with different production companies in different roles. That's very, very impressive. And uh, I feel like, you know, listening to it for hours and hours. And it's, so, <laughs> it's so much I've learned I'm from a, you. I'm a chatterbox. It's, it's, it's really interesting. Yeah, I'm a chatterbox. I hope um, mm. there are people, up and coming young actors mm. um, or people that are not young actors, but they've been disillusioned with the showbiz industry true, true. and they're trying to give up. Hopefully, I'll help um, a re kind of uh, reaffirm this message to them that no, your role might be around the corner. Just keep working. True. It will come. If you keep working, it will come. You won't know when, but it will come. And it only takes one brilliant work of yours to put you out there. You know, when I started, I just put in shift after shift after shift after shift. I didn't sleep much in the last two and a half years. But it's taking me somewhere. You know, I don't, I'm not where I want to be. But in acting and showbiz industry, with all the experience I have, I'm still a baby. I'm well, still well, we can out. see you have done very well and you're still, I mean, doing very well. Yeah. And uh, the things you have mentioned about uh, the messages you have given, and yeah. that itself is a lot of uh, treasure, I would say, yeah. uh, for a lot of uh, audience who is actually keen to listen to you and they are learning from you as well. Yeah. So in your opinion, the uh, future market, what we'll call as, yeah. uh, between, like, this is an international broadcast, yes. so we are trying to achieve, and we're thankful to you, yeah. how you're feeling, like, you know, you came into, a, from an international background, ground yes. and you're going into the internet market. Yeah. So in your opinion, this international market, the approach we have taken for this program, for example, is, in yes. your opinion, is that good or do we need to do, do some extras as well in it? Uh, it's the best approach. Okay. Um, and that's from experience as an actor as well. You don't limit yourself. True. You want to reach out to the four corners of the world mm -hmm. or to the whole world because we found out there are no four corners in the world. People used to think all those years ago, that the world was um, a rectangle or a square, it had four corners, but not anymore. We know it's round. So you want to reach out to everybody, the audience. You cannot say, I'm just for the Asians, or I'm just for the Africans, or I'm just for the Americans, or I'm just for Australia. If you want to be renowned, if you want to capture the imagination of the world, you have to be limitless. You have to be borderless. Mm -hmm. And I think your show, going worldwide, is the best thing ever. Well, that was the whole aim, actually, and yeah. uh, you have um, encouraged me a lot. Yeah. And I would say you have made give me a big peace of mind because this exactly was the, is the approach yeah. and the objective of the show to actually introduce international um, uh, talented Done. people, yeah. artists, to the international market, yeah. so that you can all work together. I know there's a lot of potential, like on both sides, yes. on all sides actually. Yeah. So uh, we're so happy that you know you are already working in uh, Hollywood. Then yeah. Yeah, you've been into Hollywood, of yeah. course. You're working in British industry now. Yeah. You're working with Bollywood as well. Yes. And same thing, uh, you should suggest, uh, in your opinion, that the people from other places should do as well. Yes. Um, that's ev everyone. If you really want to go somewhere, if you have to remember. The people you talk to, the jobs you're looking for, you're not giving them, you're not giving yourself work. You know, the people you meet are the people that will take you somewhere. So you might be sitting here, this is an international show. You don't know who's watching that would say to you, True. hey, Yildirim, um, I like that show. Who's that? Um, how did you do this and this and that? Why is your TV station based? Because I would love you to do this and do that. I would love you to go and interview somebody in America, in Africa, in Asia. You know, next thing you know, you're the next big corporation worldwide. True. If you said, oh, okay, we're just going to cover England. Yes, mm. well, well and good. England is a big country. You know, it's an important country. It's significant in the world. But you, only, you can only go so much. True. You know, as an actor, if you say, oh, no, I'm not going to play that role because people are going to think I'm bad. Or I'm not going to play that role because... My girlfriend thinks I'm going to be doing this. Oh, I'm not going to play that role because it says something against Islam or it says something against Christianity True. or against Judaism. True. Yes, you can succeed. It might still happen. But somebody else that will do everything else has got a better chance True. to go somewhere before you get there True. because you're not giving yourself work. You know, you can't limit yourself. I don't limit myself to any roles. What I do is if I get film offers, I said to the director, what's the storyline? Have you got a screenplay or my character breakdown? 
um, who will you be working with? Have you got a professional production crew? Um, where will we be shooting? What do we need to do? All I want is my welfare. Anything else, I'm not happy. I'm ready to be dirty like a pig. I'm ready to get bloodied up. I'm ready to get muddy and soaked and all whatnot. I don't mind. If I say yes to it, and this is what I know I'm going to perform, no mourning. I just put my shoulders to the wheel, ready to spin. Well, that explains a lot that the, all the positive approach you have got towards your professionalism, actually, that, uh, that explains that's how you have reached. Uh, very few people actually have got all these talents and uh, these characteristics, positive ones. Yeah. You're so versatile and you're so patient as well. So these are all the messages I think you have given uh, to the international audience, which will yeah. be quite helpful. Yeah. So what else other than these? Uh, do you do dance as well? or uh, um, <laughs> I dance, but mainly freestyle. Um, do you? Yes. Oh, okay. When you put me in choreography, I tend to struggle a bit. Okay. And I've been in musicals, but in ensemble, not lead. I'm not a good singer. I can just about hold the tune mm -hmm. and um, I do boxing right I do car racing I'm a car enthusiast and I've done a few films with stage combat even though I've, I haven't been trained but on the day of filming I get trained on how to use a sword or how to use guns and things like that and then I catch up really quickly again that's one of the key skills that I have I learn really fast that's and I right, catch up right. really, really quickly. Um, as long as there's somebody to show me, oh, this is how you do it, I catch on really quick. Mm -hmm. um, it's got to a point where people used to, the directors say to me, oh, you don't need many takes with him. One or two takes and he's good. He's good to go. You know, but as an actor, I would prefer more and more takes to be done because I want perfection. Yeah. You know, it's me that's performing. I want to show the director in the best light possible. And possibly the director would show me in the best light they can. Well, I'm really, really thankful to you. And as I said before, like I um, I'd love to sit here and the in amount of information yes. I've uh, learned from you and the talents uh, which you have disclosed to us. Yeah. Uh, I would sit here all night. Uh, the reason I asked you the question as well, because all the international audience which is uh, watching us and uh, this uh, very talented senior artist, uh, actor, film actor, now Bollywood, if he's working already, so good news for you, he can dance as well, which yeah. is quite common yeah. thing in all the Bollywood, Bollywood movies. <laughs> <laughs> He's a car racing, so yeah. I think a couple of stunts, so it's yeah. all in one, and yeah. the objective of the show is to really get all these people across the borders, yeah. internationally. Yeah. So uh, before we continue to the show, um, I think we need to take a short break now, okay. and after that we will take you to our, uh, some serious talent show in Karachi side, which we did um, uh, just a while ago, yeah. so we'll see you after a short break. The aim of this program is actually to promote artists internationally from international, like so cross-border thing from different countries to all different countries. So this time uh, we are going to take you to our show in Karachi. Again, the people who are performing there do not, do not belong to Karachi only. There's Mr. Aurangzeb Mirga who is going to kick off the show through the modeling parade. He's from Birmingham, so you will be able to see him more often as well. And you just saw Mr. Masood uh, singing from London. So I'll leave you with the show or uh, your talent from Karachi. So I'll pass you on to it. Mirza, start your model pride. Thank you. Move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. All girls all over the world. Original man, stop man, pon your kiss man. I love how all girls are move them body. And when you move your body, wanna move it nice and sweet and sexy. I don't need 
जिसको लगेगा करण वो तो ढही जाएंगे हमारी नेक्स्ट परफॉर्मर है के के वो कहते हैं बोलो ना बोलो ना सिर्फ मुझको सुनो ना कामरा सब लोगों के हाथ ऊपर एवरीवन पुट योर हैंड्स टुगेदर सब लोग मिलके बोलो 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 क्या देखा बोलो 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 क्या देखा तुमने मेरे पे क्या देखा वैसे तू चेहरे हजारों हैं मेरी उदास निगाहों में तुमने क्या देखा क्या देखा मेरी गाड़ी देखी मेरा बंगला देखा या मेरा सारा बैंक बैलेंस देखा ओ मेरे सपने देखे ना मेरा जज्बा देखा या मेरा टूटा हुआ दिल देखा तुम्हें प्यार से नहीं है प्यार से नहीं प्यार से नहीं है मैं तुमसे दूर चला जाऊं या पास प्यार तुम्हें करूंगा सोचा था प्यार जिंदगी पर मैं तुम्हें करूंगा खाबों का घर जो बनाया था वो घर तो मैंने तुम्हारे लिए ही सजाया था बताना था तुम तो झूठा प्यार हो हो तुम्हें अपना कहा तुम्हें प्यार दिया लेकिन तुम तो यार हो तुम्हें प्यार से नहीं है प्यार से नहीं प्यार उसे नहीं है मैं तुमसे तू चला जाऊं या पास चला आऊं बहुत बड़ी गलती है बहुत अच्छा परफॉर्म किया नेक्स्ट हमारे पार्टिसिपेंट हैं अहमद सिद्दीकी 
सबसे पहले तो इस मैनेजमेंट के लिए आप लोग इतनी तालियां बजाएं इतनी तालियां बजाएं कि इनको लग पता जाए कि कराची वाले जितने भी टैलेंट आए हुए प्लीज भरपूर तालियां शोर के साथ स्लो सुनेंगे फास्ट स्लो सुनिए तो से झूलो तुम मेरा गीत अमर कर दो बन जाओ नीत मेरे संगीत अमर कर दो हेलो मिस्टर हाँ क्या हुआ तेरा वादा वो कसम वो राधा तालियां होनी चाहिए क्या हुआ तेरा वादा वो कसम वो राधा भूलेगा दिल जिस दिन तुम्हें दो दिन जिंदगी का रे होगा क्या हुआ तेरा वादा वो कसम वो इरादा इसको अच्छा लग रहा है तालियां सा सा दिल की तरह से हाथ मिले हैं कैसे बना छूटे के कभी तेरी बाहों में प्रीति हर्षा बे बाबा ये भी क्या याद है क्या हुआ तेरा वादा वो कसम वो इरादा वो जिसने गम लिया प्यार के खातिर या जिसने प्यार को बेच दिया नशा दौलत का ऐसा भी क्या के तुझे कुछ भी याद सब मिलकर आपको अपनी अपनी अम्मियों की कसम है सब बोलेंगे क्या हो भूलेगा दिल जिस दिन तू बे दो दिन जिंदगी का करीब होगा क्या हुआ तेरा माता वो कसम वो इरादा क्या हुआ हमें पता होता कि कस्मे वादे वाले लोग भी आएंगे तो जिनसे वादे किए थे उन्हें भी बुला लेते अपने साथ नेक्स्ट परफॉर्मर हैं हमारे तोसीफ कोशिश करूंगा कि जो भी गाऊंगा जितना भी गाऊंगा आप लोग पसंद करेंगे और आपकी इजाजत से मैं शुरू Dua mangi 
But if you want to participate on this show, as you have seen, it's a multicultural, multi-talented, cross-border international show. So you will be promoted as you have promised all over the world. So we'll see you next week.